Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. You know, it's amazing you can find little parts of this map that would look so different. Like, where are we right now? <laughs> I had someone write in and ask, what map is this? It doesn't look like anything that uh, that I'm that I, I've seen before. But yeah, we're in this little corner here. We're taking down the soap works, and almost everybody that plays this map plays it here. And this is the scene that they see over and over again. So just to swing over here and zoom into this little valley, we're, we're in a different world. <laughs> anyway, new family moving in, actually a new couple, and didn't have a lot with them to begin with. They didn't come with a wagon load, so they are off trying to to uh, fill their, their household right now. How is the tavern doing? <clears throat> We're at still just under 10 that I put in last time, so they're maintaining that. They are selling somebody mead right now, right? You're on your way? No. Who, where's that mead going? Three mead. Let's wait and see and speed you up a little bit. I take it that's somebody coming in to get a drink. Right there. Yep. Going in, you're visiting a tavern. 62 becomes... Whoa. I thought it was three reserved. Okay, there's the three, but another one dropped two, and now there's six more. So is it three per? Or are there actually nine people all on their way in? I don't know. Interesting to watch this. He's going in. There's three more. There one another three more, and three more are reserved. Uh huh. Anyway, yep, meat is happening. I've been told twice now that I could take the booze out of the market and they would then go and buy it directly from here kind of like that idea where we just filled back up to a hundred here oh that's over here so yeah that so I guess if we need more space in here rather than dropping another stall in I can pull the, the booze out and give that a test of course, it, it leaves here rather slow. I don't think, well, most of the other things, they're not going to trigger to go get it until it's less than 10. Although there may be certain things that uh, actually goes down to zero, I'm not sure. Anyway, I know water goes down to zero. So, we've got these guys here. Yeah, we had a messed up rotation last time. And somebody wrote in and mentioned that that happens in their game when the animals come in for the first time at the end of a harvest that it then triggers another rotation as if it went through a fallow that the animals adding to it is similar to the fallow adding to it and that only happens once in a while for us is when we open up a new shed a cow shed or a sheep farm and they go in for the first time not first of spring had these arrived in January and moved out in March, then it probably would not have messed up. I went back a couple of episodes, and and at this point in the farm, there was, you know, one, two, three, four, not, not in the exact order. This probably should have been, let's see here, move you to there. Yeah, something like that. And it worked. I mean, the, the order was correct. So, it did, it was functioning at one time. And I'm pretty sure the sheep messed it up. So, wait till we get to the end. Where are we going? Right there. And end of the, of the harvest, and I'll go through and actually, I'll probably wait till just before planting time to make sure there isn't some last little, you know, flipping over at the beginning of the year, whenever exactly that happens. This is driving me a little nuts. I'm thinking about straightening that out. <laughs> Yeah, it's the game, the map knows where true north and south is, or east and west, or what have you, despite where I put my fences. And I don't know, it'd be nice to line that up, but I got to playing around with this area a little bit and set a few of these in here. And I realigned them so they pretty much matched up in here, so we can grow toward that border eventually and 
have that work out. So the road will then kick up higher. This goes away anyway. I don't know why I was trying to, to, to set it to this last time. This is kind of like, you know, setting something to that old farm that was here. I'm realizing later, like, the farm's leaving. So why am I using that as my uh, measuring stick? But this goes away. Bunch of houses will go into here. And I put them in the middles. I decided not to go with a true Burbage plot because of the way that Ostrov works. It needs space before and after in order to get good quantities of more crops into here. So this will allow the a better variety, a better quantity that's going to go into its markets, which I think we're going to put like the small granaries maybe right here. They look like barns, so I think they will work well here. And maybe they can still draw from these guys. I don't know. Hmm. Is there a better place for it? I suppose right here would have been the better place for it. Take this guy out. Just a little bit closer. Then I'd feel comfortable that distance reaches here. Or at least, you know, say these three. These guys ought to be able to reach the majority of these. If they don't reach them all already, it's very possible they do. So, they've got a lot of houses to take down over here anyway. So, well, this this isn't going to happen this episode. So, good. we got time to think about it. Right now, we are tearing this guy down, getting this space back. I'm dragging my, my well around with me because he, he shows things really well. And then we're going to continue building these guys out, which gives us more laborers for things like the, click out, the charcoal, and which really slowed down. I was surprised, though up here they are still making it. They keep stripping this uh, this forestry out. Oh, we're back to 10,000 again, but they have been filling these and emptying them. So we're about to affect... Uh, that in between episodes was looking a lot like this like it's already burnt and emptied in just the time that yeah look at this and they're taking it by cart directly out of here cartfuls at a time now nice yeah they're they're going crazy with the with the uh, charcoal good so we do have laborers in the system you guys are needing a people two guys there and two there aren't enough workers. Interesting. But there's plenty of workers. I've upped the laborer wages a little bit. Well, we, we, we did that a couple episodes ago. Demolition soap works. But they're still even. Worker pay and, and labor pay are still even. 270 an hour or a month, I think it was. But yet, that's, the, that's twice now that I've seen... Workers have left a job. Episode or two ago, we saw that they had left this job. And that worried me a little bit that that could happen. Hmm. So I'm sure there are men that are acting as laborers, this guy, and delivering firewood instead of working in that, that uh, windmill. So I wonder what causes that, what triggers them. <clears throat> I don't know. 100% of 270, same wages. Hmm. In is 2,800 now. Out is 2,000. But that could have just been the result of a really good sale. Any sales still pending out there in the world? Nothing's lit up. So, no, that's all done. Anyway, we are nearing the end of May. Fishing is happening. Yep, good numbers there. Lots of batches going on. Same thing here. We've got a lot of dry fish that have not left yet. And that should be stored in here. Dried fish. 70 out of 1,000. So it's just a matter of someone coming in and doing it. That someone is not laborers. Okay. Let's labor by cart on these guys so when they get to large quantities they can still uh, take care of that okay and did that trigger thought I saw something pop nope eventually it will all right so over here we were kind of 
pausing at this point. Last time, not sure what to do. Um, still don't know what to do, but I did lay out a few buildings over here. I laid out the two two-story row houses with the tunnel through it. That okay, we'll go ahead and give that a try. I was able to give enough space between to have a road that shoots right into the middle, which well, that's all the way across right here which will then give us our central market system over here right through turn and go though most likely they will all traffic through this area and out this area anyway but it does give you give us a central pathway into whatever this is going to be and then i put next to it a row house that has stores in it that will be the the market for this area um brickworks i want over here as well as that that uh, soap works that we just got rid of. Let's go ahead and trigger all these to leave. Really make empty. And you guys. Okay, these are already triggered that way. Yep. But there's probably nowhere uh, to put the clay. Oh, the bricks. There is. But it's a full. It could be. You're here. So 5,000 to 5,000. Okay. So I guess they will start to move them over into this area eventually. In fact, I guess I could. Did I already move it? I did. I think you're right there. There's the row house with the stores underneath. 10,000 bricks need to go over there. You are 700 and you are 1,300. Though that's going to make it difficult to lay out the houses. I wanted them to go the full length as much as possible through here. You know, probably, probably four since it's going to be long lots. Four thin lots like over there. Whereas these were a little bit wider. Hmm. I really need to start here though. So I've got my distance to match the distance from the bridge. And they move that way. So we're kind of stuck for a while. There'll be no more laying out houses there for a bit. Alright, so we've got traders over here. What, uh, Barvenkave, Barvenkave, that's you, right? There, yeah. So, you guys want to sell us lime. And I have been told to buy as much lime as possible. That's a lot of lime. That really is. Now, we've got lime storage over here. Lime, and we're full. Okay. I got nowhere to store that quantity of lime unless I quickly build another warehouse. I really hate to move it all over to here. That's our empty warehouse at that point, and there's really nothing in it. Because we're not going to make that much wool for some time, but... That's a long trip. <clears throat> that is... I could cart it over. I'm guessing a thousand per trip. Though it's going to be used, for the most part, out here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's slow down before I lose them completely. You guys are five more days. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get this done. If I were to do that, lime is quite expensive too. We're at 6,200 though. That's 1400 in lime right there. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Let's just do it. That is on its way. Bought all the lime. Um, glaze, wool, sheepskins don't need for a long time. Buckwheat and haroka. Uh, selling potatoes, 700. Cancel. <clears throat> Potatoes, not there. Um, there they are, and they're half dead. Okay, construction, and another couple married. It'd be a lot of couples waiting to marry and get into houses. So I was really wanting to to do that, get that done, and uh, get them out of their parents' homes. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and do like 500 of those half rotten potatoes. So four days are left. Sell the potatoes. 500? Yeah, we'll do 500. And deal. 
500 potatoes. There you are. And temporary. Gotcha. And that's it. Flour. Eh, 500. What condition is our flour in these days? And where are you stored? No. You're probably up at the flour mills. I got 120 there. You still aren't running. No, you got one. You're on your way to work. Okay. No flour there. 400 here and it's in great shape. Okay. Let's just leave the flour as it is. So we're done then with this trade, right? Yeah, we're done. Okay. So I think I was back over here. If we do bricks, then probably need a sand pit and clay pit in this area. And it would go in the quickest and easiest without the trees there. So let's set that up. We're into June. Let's speed you up a little bit there. And clay. Now, facing the center or facing down? Looks like I can clay there and I can sand there. Okay, so this is definitely it. Where does the brick works go? There. Now, it looks like all these buildings. So it's, it's got a good look to it. Could be out over here. We could use this to help shape this crossroads or this, this road area a little bit. Entrance is there. What was that? A chapel is done. Where do we have another chapel going? Oh, that's right. I put you in way over here. Forgot about you. Okay. So, got a chapel down at this end now. <clears throat> Should be able to see folks using it. And did they ever really get to use in this one? Yep. We're on a pathway right into it good and over here we got a good pathway going into there and this one's right near the entrance so it's kind of hard to judge that one but enough foot traffic to keep the the pathing worn well worn okay um brick works you're having money problems but you just arrived wow you have none all of these families and nobody could afford to give you anything Wow. Okay. We have some poor families out there. Let's take you down even further. Land tax down to 50. Like so. And how are you guys doing? We're still losing. Okay. Treasury, let's take the tavern tax down. I'm convinced the tavern's having an issue because we're very unusual situation we're feeding seven people in the same home without any wages seven workers they're all working age you know bringing in two something per and we'd have a 20 well we already have an 18 monthly income okay so there's money coming in but it takes quite a bit to feed all these folks too and they have to buy their own booze out of it too hmm yeah, it's a problem. I just noticed this guy, and remember, I have very few of those out there in this part of town nowadays. We're at 6,000. So, probably need to get... When the Brickworks comes out, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the hay dryers back through this whole area. I think that's what this is going to become. Both the clay and the sand can leave. Don't have a lot more construction planned here. So, clay pulling out of other areas of town here here and maybe clay back in here somewhere maybe so uh, we have a road that rolls up the side here between that and the first house so clay up in here for the construction over here might be a decent idea or even out here in the island somewhere okay um brickworks So, I think I was about to say, <clears throat> we could line up over here somewhere. Um, how best? And I keep touching the edge of the screen and it keeps taking off on me. Let's, hay dryer, speaking of. Okay, let's do that and then grab the brickworks. If we were to do this, it'd be here. That's an if. 
does this warehouse stay? I guess there's no reason for it not to. Entrance is back there though, so tab around like so to the back. That's where the clay and the sand are going to be. Now there's no way to get in there from this side over here. So we need a main pathway, and if I were to continue this run, I'm already in the way. Okay, so that's an issue. Um, could reverse you and drop you in here, but that takes the place of the clay pit. And back out a little bit further. We're at quite an angle from the central road. Hmm, so how are we going to merge these two angles? We've got to think about that too. So if we were to set the clay and sand pit first, then I suppose we could change the angle of the other one and figure out how it's going to merge in with the rest of that. Maybe it's the transition. So clay does something like this. trying to picture which direction it goes. Is it shoot out that way? This way? Into here? I suppose that could work if there's a pathway up between the two. Looks like you need to rotate just a touch like so. Alright, let's clay in... Or yeah, clay into there. And let's sand. There's our transition. Okay, so you match pretty good right there. So you coming in at this angle. Yeah, something like that. Place is occupied. Oh, got a log. Okay, July, and you guys all took a rest, didn't you? Yeah. Well, that's where he goes. <laughs> really. You chose now to take your rest. Let's see where you work. And what you... You don't work there. Okay. So you're going to go there with a pathway up between into... I suppose this road here. So we could start guessing the path of that road and maybe drop the brickworks in alignment with that. Let these guys feed in between, right up into that area. Okay, like that'll be our transition point. But I'm kind of stuck there, so if I can keep from aligning something else anytime soon, then that may still be available and waiting for me. You are out of storage. So we need to get flour moved, and we need to get flour moved into not there here yeah so let's go ahead and just cart you over and not wait for the game to figure it out eventually cart um all of the flour to here great so that'll be taken care of you're gonna go away um i suppose after this next batch is done might be a good idea I think so. Storage-wise, we have a little bit of room left. And eh, we might get another another run out of it. I mean, we're not going to be building this one anytime soon. You guys get that log yet? I think you did. Alright, sand. There we go. So you are going to drop into here. And... I'd say that alignment's probably pretty good. You are Dirkachi. So road goes up in between. Let's see that brick works again. So you're at this angle. That angle looks pretty good right there. The road. Let's see. Rotate you. Oops. Okay. Mess that up. Touch you back over. F. That's from that direction. Maybe there? But if we're going to be below it, then I guess it's that direction okay and you're somewhere like this but shot into there so you land somewhere in this area yeah the chances I'm gonna get that one right from this distance 
All right, F you over like that. It feels like you're in that road. Yeah, well, if we touch there. So we're looking at something like this. That's a guess. But there's no way... Well, I guess I don't have to go around in, in, through between these two buildings there. There's a space back behind this way. There's a space... Well, the main road's above it. Right through to it. If I back up a little bit more, then I could leave that space. Let's fire a fence off into there. So if I go from here... Place is occupied, so I cannot cut through that. So you are a village house, and I do remember Dracachi, so let's just pause. So you're going to go there. Okay, so you're like that, which places you right there. And fire you off into wherever. Yeah, that is so hard to see. Can I do it this way? Through the trees. Fences in the trees are really tough to do. I, I can't see an alignment at all there. All I'm doing is guessing. Though that's, that feels like a pretty good guess. Let's do that. And just leave that there. Okay. So, back one more time. Not the last time, but one more time. And I can't see the fence. I thought it would light up. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, so... Angle. I can kind of see it there. So if you're along the back side... So if that is in the right place, I actually have a little room there for a pathway. Okay. Enough to where I could kick it in just a little bit and leave myself a little extra space. So if I do it, that's where it goes. Okay, you leave or not? Actually, it lined up pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to leave it for now. And you're over there. Alright, so there's the first of those buildings lined up. You guys, I thought you would build rather quickly. I guess you're not an instant build, even if there weren't any trees in there. So let's move you guys up in the order just to get it done how close are we here we're still moving things over why don't you guys go build these two right now just to get those finished and we could move even the row house up just to get the cart guys to start delivering materials all right in there all right Dracachi, you are this one and right there you are who we sell our charcoal to do we have charcoal to sell? There you are. There's 4,000 in storage. I'm pretty sure that the... How much time do I have? Dirkachi, four days left. I did catch that just in time. So, you've got 3,600 waiting for you. You've got 2,000 waiting for you. You have firewood. And you're not critical anymore. And we're already working on another batch. You got plenty of fire of charcoal. Okay. So I can sell at least the four thousand. And that four thousand is also the amount that's sitting in these guys. Nothing sitting in these guys. I don't think I want to blow a whole load of charcoal. I think the days of doing that are almost done. So we've got twelve thousand sitting here. Let's give them like four thousand worth. Charcoal. Yeah, let's do that. 4,000. And sell. And then... Turn you back on again. Shoes to sell? Yes. So let's sell... Well, 1531. Deal. Shoes. 1531. That's two things to sell. Chicken, eggs, buckwheat, uh, sunflower oil. We could do 400 of you. And sunflower oil, 400. 
Then we've got clothes. How are we on clothes? We're still enough for ourselves is what we've been maintaining so far. Okay. Honey, we've got a thousand. Apples, we have... We have apples still. Really? <clears throat> I didn't remember there being this many. I thought we sold some last year. It did... It didn't get to here. 1,400 apples. And we're in... Oh, we're in August. We have done another... Yeah, we've done another harvest. Okay, so 1,400. Let's sell... 800 of that. We'll do that. So, 800 apples. And... World map. Apples. 800. And deal. Okay, so that is everything that we have to sell. To buy salt, lime, not going to do any more for a while. Leather, and leather? Leather. Still 174. That's not in an actual building being turned into something. That does make a lot of shoes, though. Leather is there. We're not really using it much for the saddlery and... We are unemployed because we are harvesting. Ah, it's harvest season. Okay. Leather. Sure, let's let's go ahead and bring some more in. We do make a lot of money selling these shoes. Deal. Okay. Clothes and it gives somebody something to do. A lot. Pigs, cows, horses, sallow. We have not bought for a while. Let's do 400 of you. Deal. And dried fish and potatoes. Okay, we're good there. So we are building. Great. So you're going in. There's only three people, but clay pits are a great thing that three people can do. And there's no materials involved, though there might be a tree over here. All resources are collected, no trees. Okay, that's good. So a pathway is going to work its way up into here and drop into... Where do I have the entrance right here? Okay, so we'll see how well that works. They're going to have to come down to grab from these pits. So that'll be fine. So the road travels through here. So we have space here for something that is industry-related. Soap works... At that point, we need asheries. The ashery is going to heat something. Is that charcoal? Is that firewood? Hmm. And that's quite a graphic there. Wow. Quite a, a burl wood look to it. Yeah. Gradually turning into a marble. <laughs> um, you're there. Show me ash. Show me soap. So, on glassworks, pottery, all of these, distillery, brewery, hops, we have a lot of things that we still have to build. Hmm. So these are a different look to them. Different enough that these look like they belong closer to the row houses than these buildings do. That last one was a sand pit. Good. You're now working on another village house. And we are or are not bringing over supplies. We're not yet. Though you just did what? You are bringing stone back. Stone is needed in these buildings right here. So stone need a thousand. And it's the same. So I'm only doing the two stories. So we have enough supplies to get them built so we can see them. We may do three stories somewhere else. We may pop up and do a three story in the middle of a couple of two stories or something like that. But but uh, two stories seem like, I don't know, better odds that we're going to get more than just three or four of them done before we're out of supplies. So I'm going that route. So you're traveling through there. You're coming through here. And looking like this right there so I've built two or just laid out two of the arched ones across from each other and mirror imaged and then one of the row house store two floors 
So white. That's the look. So we've got two of these with a, a big milk bottle sticking out of the roof. Soapworks we've seen. The ashery. Pottery makes the most sense. Now glass would use sand and pottery would use clay. And they're both right over here. That's the road up there though. So we're not going to get another one in here. Not an L shape. This wood. That's glass. Let me make sure I click the right one there. Yeah, glass. So you could do that. And we completely block off our, our access way. Yeah. So that's not going to work and that's too close. Because I don't know how many more buildings here I want. Am I going deep in? With row houses? I could on this side. Or I could put these guys over here on this side. Oh, so many possibilities. Yeah. And these are the sort of things you don't just, you know, unpack and, and move. Like we're doing the brickworks and the soapworks. So I'm going to hold off and laying those out until we have a few more, more of these buildings built. Okay. To speed it up. And let's see this. We're starting to take down fields. Uh, harvesting. They're harvesting that thing. I can hardly tell. They're harvesting this one. Ah, okay. We do have a change in graphics there, but this is one we're working on. So you have got a full row plus one working for you. You don't. <laughs> of course, this year is going to be different with this mistake. We got four full fields to get taken down over here. And we do not have gather gathering prioritized. Good. But, yeah, everyone's going to come in here because it's, there's more houses near this farm than this farm. So, one person over here. And this is still at 120%, right? 120 for laborers, yeah. Didn't even get all the full workers going over here. Hmm. This one is always going to be the, the stepchild, this farm, until we get more houses going in here. And I can't really get them going in here until I've got the market in here. I could get them built, but I need to supply goods over here, and I don't think a row house would look good there. I just don't. Now, we may, well, if we're going to row house through here for a certain distance, I don't know how far, Central Market somewhere in here, we could row house at this end over here as well. Don't know if it's Market, if we just pop one in, would reach clear over here though. So I don't know that that's a winner. We are bringing a lot of stuff in. 4,600. We're losing funds really quick right now. First field's almost done. And I'm just noticing all those carts. So we have a lot of stuff coming in to be dropped off. Do we have room? Um, that's, that's a good question. So we've got, well, we've got room for 11,000 more. Let's set you up as a temporary lime storage. Where are you? Right there. And let's put in 10,000 lime. And we'll just let you fill up. Well, let's let's make it 9,000. Just in case we start, for some reason, storing wool. But I really doubt it. So wool is being turned into broadcloth nice and slow. I'm not, not putting a lot of effort into that. And we did clear out the other. So we've... we've had 300 and something and we're down to 78 okay which is more than fast enough he's gonna have nothing to do through the winter as it is so he's going fine all right over here how much more I, I can really do at this point until we've gotten to work on this so it's probably time to think about hiring these guys and keeping them running right or is it just the one building it's actually just the one building over here. None of these have trees and there's nothing else going on in the woods. So we're not quite there yet. You guys can still just stay the occasional month with three people and that's it. And now they'll pull it out of this footprint. If I could click on that. 
Really? Uh, click, click, click there. Pull out of this footprint instead of just randomly taking trees down like they have been. So that should still be fine. Uh, ships are leaving. Other supplies are arriving. Bunch of leather. Click again. Nope. One at a time. So there might be more hiding into there. Yeah, you're shimmering like crazy. There's, there's several in there. All right, so we've taken down two and a half fields. Over here, we've taken down almost one. So we have extra help till the very end of September. And we only really have two workers. Right, what are you? You are potato. No, we still have four workers. So you ladies are taking a rest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's no point in trying to force labor out there. It'll happen when it happens. Otherwise, it won't happen. One more farm uh, house over here, and these guys will be all finished. I'm guessing we're going to see more of the same for a while. Where is house built? Message log. Okay, sold all those and have married. Yeah, the last house was another marriage. These folks, I would imagine all of these will be that. I would imagine we are quite backed up. And young folks wanting to move out. Alright. So, do I get one of these going sooner than later? There you are. Over there. Far away from everything. And these are all going to require a lot of trees coming down. 17, 18, 17... 13, 18, 19, 12, 10, 2. So one, two of them will not require a lot of houses, a lot, a lot of trees going down. So this is a long-term thing. I don't need to worry about that market just yet. I'm just kind of answering my own questions there. So I guess the question is, what is there for me to be doing right now? <laughs> just let this run. We're almost finished here, and then all of these folks, well, what few are left? What are you guys doing otherwise? So we are still filling up and making charcoal, and charcoal in the system now is char, 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 char. It is not there. So we're still using it as fast as we're making it. Anything going on over here? No. They're not even trying here. So let's just boost these guys up and see if we can... If we can make this happen just a little bit quicker okay that's there still one person making firewood firewood storage 10,000 and charcoal is zero lime is 10,000 firewood is 10,000 and you're probably sitting at yeah, 10,000 11,000 constructed hay dryer so we have been taking these trees down okay good and I don't know, yes we are, we're still in hay dryer season. So they're immediately doing that. We were at 5,900, now we're still at 5,900, so we haven't been emptying any of these. Let's do one round of emptying. Make empty. And we'll just do that for all of these one time, just to make it happen. Really make empty. Haven't seen any activity on these other than filling them up. Okay, that it? Yeah, these are gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. There was one in the woods. There you are. Make you empty. Okay, so all that's going to dive in here actually pretty quick. There we go. 133 is coming. So they'll take care of that. You look pretty full. You're at 7,000, so you're fine. And these are just going to sit on the racks. Okay. So, we're not hurting for hay, that's for sure. Bridge to go in soon. You are that house. You are... Oh, we're just finishing this one yet. Okay. So, we only have three workers. That's what's taking so long. All right. Starting to bring these supplies over. You are on your way home. Taking a rest. Forestry. Our one worker has gone to sleep. You are picking up firewood, aren't you? That's firewood. Where are you going? And show path. You're filling... Oh, you are the worker. 
Aha. So someone grabbed firewood out of you and you filled it back up again. Perfect. With the carts that are right there waiting for you. Do these carts ever come in? Uh, where am I? Right here. We're carted there. We're carted there. Good. And we were carted over here. Yep, so carts are in great shape right now. Marifa, you are what? Almost click that again without thinking. Marifa, there you are. Selling to us. How many wheat, f wheat fields do we get in? You were barley. You were wheat. Yeah, so just one. So, I'm just noticing these guys. Clear you and clear you. And clear you. Okay, let's bring some more wheat in while we're at it. 5,100 and turn you back on wheat. Let's bring in... Let me think about that. We got... A bunch of stuff that came in. There's charcoal is filling up again. Now we still have storage. What did we buy from here? Everything arrived. So we bought 7,000 lime. Did it get moved? Was it that quick? What am I not getting here? There was 7,000 lime that was on its way. There you are. You're in this one. Okay. Okay. In that case, we do have room. That's what I wanted to verify. That we had storage space. So you are here and here. And we'll do 2,000 instead. And just have you sit there. It doesn't rot. Village house is complete. And it didn't say that so-and-so married. So I think we've caught up with our, our young folks now. Um, yep, yeah, we're good. So, honey, textile, broadcloth, warm clothes, horses, sunflower, stuff to sell. Dried fish, we're at a thousand, and there isn't any sense of a rot on that. Sunflower oil, about a thousand. Buckwheat, where are we on buckwheat nowadays? We're at four thousand, so plenty of, of animal foods. And now... That kind of a thing doesn't rot, does it? There's no bar on that. You're right here. No, no bar. No bar in any of these. Which is not super realistic, but I guess it works for the game. Things do rot. I wonder if someday we'll introduce the idea of mice or rats and loss in storage. That sort of thing. World map flower so selling to them we're good there sallow chicken eggs horseshoes iron metal parts we're good flax nothing in town and we don't sell hemp hemp we have 156 okay so we hemp wise hemp would have come out of this oh we have to process it that's why right no, there's nothing, there's no sense of that here. It's just 215, it's in the field. That's what's going on. You're hemp, right? Um, buckwheat, where's the hemp? You're here. Yeah, you were hemp before. So that has rotated. So theoretically, I could swap these out now and fix this one. That was hemp, it's now fallow. That was barley it's now hemp okay well i'll do that in between episodes so i can sit there and stare at it and talk to myself and make sure i'm really 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 right yeah those kind of uh, hurt my brain okay so we need to take three fields down we're mostly there we should have more people available right now well did october we're not going to bring in the sunflower are we it kind of looks that way. Interesting. We still can't get folks rolling in here easily. Okay. Well, that's a shame. You guys are all up and running again. You're not. 
because we've shifted over to the row house. I didn't want to build the row house. So we'll just let this thing get stocked. That was my main concern. That it was far enough in, up in the list that the cart carters will start. Actually, I can... Yeah, we'll leave you on hold. We'll uh, start bringing all the materials over. And there's still a lot of materials yet to bring. So the, we are starting to clean this area out, though, as a result. That's a good thing. So keep doing that. So we can maybe lay these out before this is over. Around 50 minutes so far. We'll see. So we're running at speed 2. And always concerned when this farm never really does its thing. Yeah. Oh, well. It will be what it will be. Just have to, just have to live that way. Otherwise you get too stressed out and it's not worth it. This game's supposed to be the opposite of that. Yep. Just sitting there relaxing. Uh, we are into October. We're selling all the goods. Okay. You have bought horseradish and onions and a little bit of honey. You have bought nothing and some onions and some honey. Hmm. Not a lot of goods being sold around here or they're already being hauled down to here. Yeah, well, mostly just apples. Got some onions. Beetroots are on their way from somewhere. And lots and lots of peas. Okay. And they don't rot. So that's a good thing. We can just keep collecting that. Peas are eventually going to run out of room though. And there's more coming, but we'll be selling those through the year and the potential of every single house eventually getting some peas in it. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so eggs and flour are hiding down in here and I'll let you run. So how is this household doing now? We're up to 10. So the 10 that we helped with has been maintained. Okay. Still lots of honey. And still needing the 500 supplies in the house. And we're, we're not there. So nothing's going to be sold. Over here, you make less honey. It's interesting. Same number of beehives being, uh, being represented there. But they always have twice as much as they do. Interesting. And the place that has the most must be the one that's actually got enough to sell. Uh-huh. We got beehives. There's 429 over here. Six people, though. So they need to maintain 600 food. So as an example here, before we start eating any of this, 430, 460, 475 something out of 600. So they're not selling their honey either. Even though we are here and available to purchase it. Interesting. Just kind of watching the, the calculations under the hood. How this all works. We are working on you. Okay. And all the materials are in place now. Just got to build it. We're still waiting for the last of the thatch. How's thatch doing? 1800 and 1800. We're doing great. And are we still storing some of it up in here? We are. What are you? Bark. Okay. So this may not be the best place to store it anymore. Since we're not using it in this part of town that much anymore. Not going to see a lot of, of thatched roofs over here though. So it wouldn't hurt to get more warehouses up in this area. Warehouses look good, too. There's a quick little something. Throw it in. Fill it up. It's a, it's a space. It's a good-looking building. And I plan on filling a lot of this area up with random warehouses. They're just quick little roofs to get placed here and there. In fact, maybe it's a warehouse that goes right here. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this void since we can't do the other two buildings that close. So maybe a warehouse drops into there. And I was going to say, we don't have a lot of buildings going into this area that have thatch roofs. So industry tends not to. It needs to be up over here where we're going to have all the thatch roofs. So having 
2,000 or even 5,000 thatch out here somewhere wouldn't be a bad idea. Exactly where, though? Could be in there. Grab you. Nope, no room. No room to make it look good. Okay. So, and we get hay up in here. Hmm. Okay. Over here's a possibility. Something like that. Hey, that lined up really well. So if you even came down further, we have a road that's eventually going to shoot up into here. That does seem like the right place until I just drop a building in the way. Then I can move. It'd be nice to run that road up closer to this. So if you went here... That kind of kicks things back down onto the main road again, just like the cows. Cow parade! Yeah. Drop you in there. And you head toward here, though you've got... What did it look like? Three trees in there. These guys ought to be able to wipe that out pretty quick, though. Who is waiting for a partner, going to work? Going to work. Three people are working. Taking, no, four people are working. I have a feeling they'll wipe this out here real quick. Okay, we're into November. And I am pretty much out of time. And I need to get this laid out. And that's the last piece waiting. 450 bricks. Yeah. So I guess next time we'll lay out these houses. And yeah, that's all dropping into here. Still need 9,900 bricks. So do we have 9,900 bricks? Just out of curiosity, there's 5,000 there, and there was 13 up here, 15 up here. So we are getting really close. That's batch size of 1,000, and that batch is done. Storage-wise, we are pretty much done, but we should be emptying this here real quick. Um, bricks down in here. 5,000 to 5,000. Okay. So, I'm going to guess, Marifa, house is complete, that... I don't remember someone moving into the other house. Just got to thinking. I don't remember the pop-up. Um, I would imagine they'll be pulling bricks out of here big time. Just in time for this one to finish off. And, yeah, I did not see... It was here? Moved in this one. No, it wasn't. So it was either this or this, and somebody did move in. Okay. Came with 15. Came with 20. And you are waiting. Okay. So our houses are finishing up along the river here. I never thought that I would fill this many houses into here. But we do need some big yards to offset the no yards. We need to bring in their food somewhere else. Or we're going to end up with warehouses, granaries, with very little food variety in it. Yeah. So here's what we have collected so far. And we've still got a bunch of onions coming from over here. Yeah. Okay. So eventually, I'm thinking many buildings in here for storing foods not just the the three that we have used this has worked really well for the town size that we've got new family setting into town so let's see if we're this one yeah all this that's sitting in here we've still just barely touched the storage so we don't truly need huh just thinking about what it took to, let's pause a second, to set these right here. Because the houses that are nearby have these things. What's it going to take to do that over here? I'm only going to be able to set automatically what is sitting in another granary, right? That might be a problem. And while I'm thinking about it, can I grab anything new? Yeah, there you go. There might be more to buy out here. That's possible. You did get fully set, right? Yeah. And you... 
did get fully set as fully as we can but we'll set at least three of those buildings over there maybe four and, and two or three of these guys and start bringing in long-term storage especially the things that don't have any sense of a decay and start building up much larger quantities to be able to pull from when we finally get the central granary in that area going but have i done all that i can do i have you guys just finished so i could lay these out between episodes or catch that next time and we are now working on this warehouse and all the trees are gone so working on that one then we might get this guy built next time and just do that after that nice to get that bridge in just for the flexibility and you are ready to be built next let's move you in like so get that built through the winter then we've got the smelteries which can all wait so you guys just drop off to the end there's three of you we're not near re not ready for you yet i just wanted to get you set other fulling mill we don't need you yet either so that comes down to that bridge over there just to get them done and off the list we could so two bridges to do and then we start dropping in two houses and we're working on this one first. So I've got to decide, is this stay? Or is this support services? I think he stays. I think support services go here and hey, we harvested. We haven't brought it all in, but we harvested. Let's keep running long enough to get into December. I've never stopped to see what happens to that little sheath right there when the snow starts to fall i know the the plants instantly disappear but i don't know that these sit there in the snow and get snow collected on them or do we sacrifice those i've never stopped to watch that process and just by chance we're there so let you run you're collecting as fast as you can we've got two people so one more is about to walk over you guys are grabbing logs and trying to stay ahead of them warehouse is completed and you snow's falling okay so nothing has changed let me do this real quick while we're waiting you are going to be uh thatch right there let's put five thousand of you in there and that will give us a good supply so it is still here they're not disappearing and hopefully they will continue to hire through the winter and bring that in. Our one worker is working on threshing through the winter. We've got these two to do. And good, yep. Yeah. I, I thought that these would not vanish. I thought that they would be safe so long as we got the harvest done. Got the plants chopped down. That's all that's truly needed. So we are still making it on this farm. Really delayed, but we're still making it. Okay, so with that, I'm going to call this one done, and I'll catch you later. Bye, folks.